Hi guys, it's Fernie here from Sweet Seat Silver and today I'm here to talk to you about balance points and what balance points are are two points that we measure uh, on our chest to help us determine the length of necklace or neckline that's going to be best suited to us. So what we do is we, we measure two uh, measurements on our face and we use those um, to determine the balance points on our chest. Now this is a, a bit of a formula that's been around for a really long time, but I first read about it in um, Bridget Reyes' book, Style RX. If you can get your hands on a copy of that, it's a really great book. It's got lots of useful tips on fashion and style. Um, I really love it. So, balance points. Um, First thing you need to know about balance points is that um, they are to do with the shape um, and length of your face and how that can determine um, what's going to be best suited for you in the way of um, necklaces or necklines. So we take the first of all we take the visual length of our of our face. So if you had a really big fringe you'd do it you know from the bottom part of your fringe so for me it's the top of my forehead to my chin and I take that length it doesn't have to be perfect you don't need to get the ruler out or anything but I take that length and I move it down to my to my bottom of my chin and and place it on my chest so that length gets mirrored down and what that tells me is my first balance point which is the the point that um, is the lowest on my chest so for me it sits just between my boobs the second balance point that we measure is from the width of our face so for some women it's going to be up near their um, cheeks or for some with a square a wider jawline or a squarer jawline might be down further mine seems to be just sort of in the middle here so what you do is you take that you measure where that is and then you go half that so from here to here and so this is going to be my next balance point I take that length and I put it down from the bottom of my chin to um, to where it sits now for some women it could be higher for some women it could be lower it just depends on where that length was determined from so for me it sits right on that bone that's there so where my top is sitting that's my high balance point. So now we've got our two balance points um, and what that tells us is that for me I can wear anything in between my high and my low balance points. Anywhere between this bone and basically in between my boobs is really great for me. Um, even those, if you go spot on those balance points, perfect. Um, but anything in between works really well. So this also works really well with tops or shirts like so for me today I've got the really high neckline on but what I've done with that is teamed it with a long necklace that sits right on that balance point on the lower as you can see so that works really well as well um, and also with the opposite so if you've got a really plunging neckline um, that maybe it's a little bit lower than your balance point you can team it up with a, a high necklace um, where your high balance point is so um, keep that in mind next time you know sometimes when we buy a necklace or we see it on a necklace on a friend or, or, or on a model we think oh I love that that looks really really great but when you get it home and you put it on or you team it with a certain outfit you it just doesn't look right it just doesn't feel right so it's probably got something to do with your balance points so do this trick at home and when you're shopping next time for a necklace you'll be able to keep that in mind and um, hopefully you won't make a mistake and buy something that doesn't suit you or just doesn't look right for you um, I hope that helped um, if you've got any questions, write a comment. If you liked the video, write a comment um, and subscribe. And we will do this again soon.